Cougars baseball team, John Lowry Sr. Coach Lowry, how are you today after your team uh, winning the Section 2 championship the other night against Washington? Well, I'm doing well. Just, uh, you know, looking forward to getting some practices in this week, and hopefully, uh, you know, the weather will start to cooperate, and uh, we'll be able to get on the field and, uh, you know, prepare for uh, our games with uh, with Martinsburg. Coach, your team gets a combined no-hitter in that win from Cohen Rutherford and Riley Morgan. Uh, just those two going out there and, and doing their thing. Um, for your pitching staff, you know, what really stood out to you about their performance in that win? Well, you know, we're fortunate to have two guys that can throw like that, and we feel like we have a third uh, young man in, in Jet Groves, left-hander, who uh, can also be very competitive for us. So. When opportunity presents itself for him, you know, depth of pitching, I think, is a key at this point of the year. The, um, um, you know, the game was suspended and with both pitchers that of record in the Friday game not being able to come back because of pitch count. So that allowed us, you know, we had a decision to make as to whether or not, you know, um, Raleigh and Cohen have both kind of back and forth as their number one guys and whether to go with him and try to see if we could finish it out or um, hold them. And, you know, it, just, it, it, it was a process that we had to kind of think through. And, of course, Riley went in. And while he might not have been as sharp control-wise as he has been at other times this year, he was still effective in that he, um, you know, he, he held him hitless. And uh, we were fortunate enough to keep him off the scoreboard. Washington has a, a really good team. They swing the bat and, you know, and they're young. They're young just like we are. And, um, and I know down the road is ahead of us, but uh, it could be a, an interesting couple of years coming up um, with with those two teams. Of course, and then the whole dynamic changes next year and Muslim coming in, but uh, that's for another day, I guess. But, uh, you know, we were happy to be able to um, – to win, and um, you know, we, we know we have our um, the challenge that we have ahead of us with the uh, with Martinsburg, though, certainly an excellent team. Continuing on with uh, the Section Two Championship, offensively for you guys, it was the two-run home run uh, by Surf Guerra that was the big difference in helping lead to the win against Washington. Just not only talk about him and how much his uh, youthfulness as men to the team, but just the youth in general on your team again? Well, you know, Surf swings to bat. He's one of our leader, leading hitters. I think that was his fifth home run of the year, and he's a freshman. So, he, you know, he's a big, strong kid. Um, he, lo- he loves to play, and certainly that two-run cushion, um, you know, was, was, was huge coming in uh, with the game getting suspended. And then you can't really look past uh, Alec Danner's uh, – double that got us the third run because you know in the seventh inning they had two runners on base which if we only had two runs those would have represented the tying run uh, so it kind of gave us that extra bit of a cushion um both those kids uh, you know surf being a freshman and uh, alex being a sophomore um uh, you know they have a couple of years obviously ahead of them. our shortstop we started three freshmen in, in, in that game the other day our, our, our shortstop's a freshman and our dh was a freshman and, uh, you know, we, we, um, <laughs> we just, uh, feel well, good, but the way those young men have uh, come along and performed and, uh, their game has improved as the season's gone along. I think they've gotten confidence that they've gotten their feet on the ground. They, um, and their level of consistency is, uh, I think just are establishing that and, uh, all those things have, you know, helped us, uh, uh, here toward the end of the season. Coach, you mentioned uh, in my first question, you know, Riley not having necessarily his best stuff, but still being effective. I can't remember if it was on Saturday or if it was on uh, Monday, but you, you, you're always willing to come out at any time and, and talk to your pitcher or talk to your team. And there was one moment where somebody got a strikeout even, and you came out and talked. What are you looking for when you, you know, come out to a pitcher's uh, to the pitcher's mound and, and talk to your pitcher even if they were effective but maybe didn't have their best stuff what, what specifically well, are you looking for it, it, it really wasn't the best stuff then thing that I went out with it was a situation thing you know there was two outs and 
and I knew if they got two outs, two strikes, they'd probably try to steal third. And, you know, we could maybe um, run a pickoff play in that situation. Or if we have two strikes on the batter and two outs, a lot of times maybe we would be, you know, throwing to third base. We want to make sure we just don't give them a run by <laughs> having an errant throw to third base. So let's make them earn it. That's kind of what my message is there. Make, make them earn that run and, you know, they're going to try to force the action. A lot of times you'll see it, two outs, two strikes. Maybe they feel like, you know, they can force a mistake. And, and I just wanted them to be aware that of what might happen and not get surprised by that scenario if it did present itself. And uh, basically that's what, what, I, what I was trying to do there. Coach Lowry, as we stated, you guys win Section 2 even as the – number two seed having to go and start off the bracket against Hampshire and then winning against Washington, who was the one seed both times that you guys faced them. So even as the two seed getting section two once again, how, how much does that just show about your program and the staff and who you guys have this year as a whole? Well, you know, I, I think if, if you look at a lot of the records around the, the section, there's, or there's, I think there was a lot of parity this year among the teams. And uh, I know we didn't fare real well in our EPAC games. I think we were four and six in our 10 EPAC games, but the games were close. And if you look, one team would beat this team, this team would beat the other. And that's just kind of uh, the nature of it. And, you know, being the two seed, if, if, when when you think it through a little bit, or when we thought it through a little bit, what really wasn't the worst thing if you could win that first game after you know after the Hampshire game if you could win that first uh, Washington game because then you got a day off if you were the one seed then you were going to have to you know uh, maybe keep playing through um, I guess you'd have got a um, day off if you were the one seed and you won that first game. But, you know, we, we knew that if we could win the first game against Washington, we were going to get a day off and that would help us, you know, with our pitching. And, uh, especially when, you know, looking at the long dorm for, forecast, there was always, there was going to be, um, a rain delay or it, it would appear that there might've been a day off in there, um, because of the weather. And that certainly helps you get your pitching back. And, uh, we were fortunate enough to, that that circumstance worked out for us. I know the weather hasn't really helped with things, Coach, but what are you guys trying to do to prepare for Martinsburg uh, next week? Well, we know we're playing on the turf field. We know we have a turf football field, so we can get up in the corner of that and get our ground balls and whatnot. Um, you know, even if it's our field is damp, we and we can you know get acclimated to fielding balls off uh, the artificial turf ball a little quicker sometimes when the there's a dampness to that turf the ball will have a tendency to you know skip uh yeah so you let the guys see that it, i mean obviously those balls will be hit off fungos as opposed to coming off a live bat but still it's it's uh it's an opportunity for us to get up there and get acclimated to that and you know our, our field does dry well and while today might not be a day we can get on it i think uh, you know, as the week goes on, we're going to be able to get on our field and, and we'll be able to simulate game situations and probably uh, have a little bit of a, a limited inter-squad thing where we'll get our pitchers out there and get them on the mound maybe for um, an, in, an inning apiece just to keep them hopefully in that mode of um, that rhythm, you know, of, of, of pitching so that their their command can uh, can stay with them and um, just prepare, you know, just review the things that we've done all year. And, and again, at baseball, as I've often said, it's a game of repetition. Just repeat the things that are um, most likely to happen most often and, um, and just uh, try to keep a good mindset. So we're joined by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars baseball team, John Lowry Sr., as they get ready for regionals next week on Monday, Tuesday, and if necessary, Wednesday, taking on Martinsburg. And my question will be just that. What will it take from your team to beat Martinsburg, the number one team in the state, Coach Lowry? 
Well, well, I mean, obviously we're going to have to play well. I mean, there's no question about it. You know, it kind of reminds me of years in the past when Martinsburg and Jefferson were on the same section. And Martinsburg, I think in the 80s, they had teams that won several state championships, and it would come down to, I remember three years in a row, we lost to them in the sectional uh, tournament by one run each time. And uh, so, you know, there's... It's it's been a good rivalry over the years. But what, what establishes a good rivalry is obviously you want to win all the time. But you know both teams have the opportunity to win, and that's been reflected between those two teams over the years. And uh, certainly, I mean, you got to tip your hat to what Martinsburg has accomplished this year—a 30-win season, only two losses, and um, they played well. You know, at, at each uh, at, at every moment of the season. So, you know, our, our, we got a, a challenge ahead of us. We got our hands full, but our kids are, are excited uh, and they, and they want to, to accept that challenge and see what they might be able to do. They have to go up and obviously we're going to have to score some runs. That's something we, we struggled to do uh, in, in the recent past with them because, uh, you yeah, they pitch well, they defend well. So, you know, we're going to have to score some runs and we're going to have to minimize our mistakes. It's, you know, it's just going to, you're going to have to play good baseball. You know, you, you look back on the game we just played with Washington. You know, we walked four, we hit three, and we made one error. So we gave them, I think that's, so if you add that up, that comes out to eight base runners, free base runners. And, we you know, we got to eliminate that. Even though we didn't give up any hits, we can't hit three guys and we can't walk four guys we we, uh, we, we need to fine tune that a little bit and um, and then on the other side of it uh, hopefully we we can put some um, put some runs up on the board and and then our pitching and our defense can um, will come through for us hopefully that's our goal all right coach thank you for the time uh, good luck and we'll see you next week okay thank you for having me on I appreciate it once again, that was Coach John Lowry, senior of the Jefferson baseball team as they prepare for Martinsburg next week in the regional championship. Colin, you want to 